I want to bring up to the stage their candidate, Amy Weiss. Come to the stage, please. She's going to talk to y'all for a minute. Thank you very much. So much love in this room tonight, so much talent. I'm so excited to be up here with you all. So, you know, I'm 38 years old, and the best night of my life so far was when I got to get up on that stage with Ed Lee, and I got to hold him accountable to all the things that he's been letting us down. And let me just tell you, people told me when I started this back uh, in December of 2014, I've dedicated about a year of my life to this effort because I care about the future of my neighbors and our culture and our city. And when I, when I started this off, people said, you're not gonna raise enough money to get on the ballot. I did it anyway. Yeah. People yeah. said to me, you're not going to be able to debate Ed Lee. Yeah. I did it anyway. Yeah. People are saying that you can't beat Ed Lee, he's unbeatable. We're going to do it anyway! Yeah. We're going to do it with the love that's here in this room tonight and the passion for the city and for our culture. And today, I got so emotional, I was at CCSF today. And I got to talk with people who are studying criminal justice and nursing and early childhood education. And they're from the city. And I got so emotional because I said, I want you to be here. I want you to be able to work for the city and to continue living here and contributing here. And someone said to me, whoa, you're Amy Weiss. We're studying you in my econ class. <laughs> And someone said to me, I wasn't going to vote until I met you today. And that's what all of us have the power to do, is we have the power to be excited about the future. And I was just telling this to someone outside, do you know what we get to do when we become mayor? We get to guide the police department of San Francisco. Feel that for a second. We get to hire the person who's in charge of the police department we get to radically alter, and in, I've been talking about this because I went to an All Tribes meeting with United Players, and we were talking about Grace Lee Boggs, and we were talking about Africa Bombada, and we were talking about how do we infuse the police department with that spirit? Because as we've seen, the African American population of San Francisco has dwindled down to under 5%, and 50% of the arrests are of that population. You know who the rest of the population of the police, uh, the police are arresting? Homeless people, people with mental health challenges. We take care of our own in San Francisco. 70% of the people that are on the streets in San Francisco are our own people that are from San Francisco. And the rest, who cares? We love them and we want to help them because this is the city of St. Francis. We have the ability to be excited about the development and we have to make sure 20% affordable, no. 30% affordable, no. 40% affordable, no. We start at 50 and then we go up from there. If I'm mayor, if we are mayor, and I want you to feel that in your heart, we have the ability to do this. They're saying that Ed Lee is unbeatable. He's only be unbeatable if you believe that in your heart. Like Max says, it's not Ed Lee that we're fighting. What are we fighting? Apathy. We're fighting apathy. So please, everyone, lend your skills and creativity because democracy is really a hard-won tool of the people for us to shape power and service to love and justice and service to people and planet. And we have to make equitable economy that looks at the whole ecosystem. We can't just have this excessive profit ruling the day. So one, two, three, replace Ed Lee. Vote one, two, three, two, replace Ed Lee. Thank you so much. I, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And you know what I like to say is that I was uh, you know, setting up the logs and the kindling and the fire just so for the last 10, 11 months. And then here comes Equipto and he sparks the fire. So thank you for sparking the fire. Can y'all make some noise for Amy Weiss, y'all, please? Make some noise. Courageous. I don't know how many of us would run against Ellie. I went to the debate, you know what I mean? 
And she was the only candidate that really held him accountable and called him out. But did it really good. She didn't do it like me, like, you're a shame. You know what I mean? <laughs> she did it really nice and did it really good and really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta learn my communication skills. But that's what I'm saying. We all have the voice. You know what I mean? But right now, she is our voice. We don't have to be, you know what I'm saying? We all don't have to be 100% behind every proposition. You understand that? We don't. We have to just fight for what's right, period, and fight for what's in need right now. Me, myself, I never, ever wanted to throw a show or be a promoter, ever in my life. I don't, I'm not good with promoters. I don't get along with promoters. I hate promoters. <laughs> But I had to throw shows for the last three years for San Francisco to keep the culture keep going. Yeah! And did we not make it happen? Did we not make it happen? The San Francisco is still thriving and striving in our hip hop scene. So we do what's called for. Am I not right? I'm not a promoter. She's not a fucking politician. She's a grassroots organizer. And she has a heart for the people. You understand? And that's what we have to, she's rising and she's doing what is called for at the moment. And that's what we have to understand. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm not running for mayor. I ain't doing no shit like that. I'm doing what's called for, using my voice, because we all have a voice, whether it be five people you talk to at home, five people you talk to at work, you know someone that walks dogs around the neighborhood, so they know people that really live in San Francisco. We have an influence. We have the power of influence in all of us, whether it be writing it down, whether it be sp uh, talking to someone face to face one on ones. It's very important that we use that. You know what I'm talking about? It's very important that we use that, y'all. We gotta learn, we gotta use our voice at the time is now, because we owe it to the people. We all know that. We all owe it to the people before us 30, 40, 50 years ago that died for this shit. They died so people like us could vote, period. So, let's give it up to them.